Check it out. Finally from Los Angeles this evening, still very much the entertainment capital of the world, The Fear. You may well have heard that the screenwriters and the actors may be out of work by some time this summer if they cannot agree on new contracts with the movie companies. Everyone, and we mean everyone we talk to here, has an opinion about it. Were there to be a strike, among other things, it might cost Los Angeles alone $250 million a week in lost wages and salaries. Here's ABC's Brian Rooney. Might shut down Hollywood. Movie companies are cranking out films to show during a strike, while the stars make as many movies as they can to put money in the bank. I think the number of projects that are going to be going on are the most I've ever seen in my, you know, 15, 20 years of making movies. Strikes by the writers and actors would put everyone out of work, from Schwarzenegger to the costumers. The writers are demanding a bigger piece of the $31 billion a year generated by their work. Now the reuse of what we write for American TV around the world is astonishing in terms of the amount of revenue it generates. So the workaday actors say they too want more of the profits made when their work is sold on video disc or shown in a foreign country. The perception out there is what are these rich people asking for, for gosh sakes? And we, have to, we had to fight against that perception. We had to tell them that these people are having trouble paying their rent. So just, we'll do that. This is also a clash of egos. The writers, who always feel undervalued, want to get rid of that vanity credit producers and directors use to suggest they did all the work. A Michael Bay film, a film by Wes Craven. The film industry could take a strike without too much damage. But for the television networks, a strike in 1988 started a slide in viewership. Another strike could bring further erosion of audience. Although some analysts say the business picture is a little different today. So much of networks' uh, schedules these days are reality shows and game shows and um, news programs that the impact on the networks would be less than it was in 1988. But come next fall, reality could be a lot of reruns on television and movies they're making now in a hurry. Brian Rooney, ABC News. Hull.